Hey YouTube! Jared Fuller here. Happy Easter and April Fool's Day to all of you. Thank you for watching another installment of the Sunday Video Updates. I know I'm getting to this really late, um, but I kind of have the house to myself right now, so uh, I figured this would be as good a time as any to make a Sunday Video Update. Uh, Dad and Amy went uptown. They should be back shortly, so you'll probably see them walking in when they get back. Um, and the reason I'm getting to this today late is because, um, well, I got to meet an actress today. I had driven down to uh, Canton, Michigan to meet an actress named Ava Coleman, and I met her mom. We met up at a church, and, um, you know, we've been talking for a while, and, and I found out that she was going to be in Michigan. And uh, so she's in Michigan now. She's from Atlanta, Georgia, and... Uh, so we made arrangements for me to go and meet her, and I had a great time. We had pictures taken, which I'll have at the end of this video. Um, so Ava and uh, Mom, if you're watching this, thank you so much. I had a wonderful visit today with both of you, and uh, we'll definitely have to keep in touch, and uh, we'll make some plans in the future. Uh, there are some things that I wanted to get to. Um, so it, it's been another busy week. I, I never write these things down. But um, I, I have a few uh, uh, plans coming up. I didn't do anything special for Easter other than, uh, you know, go and meet Ava. Um, but on the 7th, I've been invited to Chuck E. Cheese's in Lansing with a friend of mine. Um, I don't know if, how well those plans are going to hold up, if they hold up, because uh, my friend hasn't been feeling too well lately, and if she cancels uh, the, the, uh, the plans, I'm going to set appointment. If she cancels the plans, then, um, you know, then, then we'll have to arrange another time. And, and, of course, I understand if she's not feeling well, you know, and, and she doesn't feel like going out and having fun, that's fine. We, we can always arrange another time. But the seventh, uh, so I would say the seventh is, you know, it's got like a great big question mark written on it for right now. Um, and on the sixth, my dad turned 60, the big 6-0. Um, so I, I'm, I think they're going to be planning a, a birthday party for him at the Hickory Lounge in Owasso on the fourth, um, which he already knows. Uh, one second, I got to let my dog in. Come on, Barkley. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. But um, that will be on the 4th, the party that they want to uh, do for him. Um, so I'll probably be in Owasso uh, on the 4th, which would be, let's see, today's the 1st, 2nd, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I, I have to do that because um, I don't have a calendar like directly right in front of me. Um, on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, I might be going down to Lansing to meet up with a friend I haven't seen in quite a long time. Um, and on the 14th, there are two things happening on April 14th. Uh, the ABC 12 Family Expo at the Frankenmuth Credit Union Event Center, which is a mouthful to say. And after that, oh, which, by the way, is in Birch Run, Lizzie Green from Nicky, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn will be there, and I will have the opportunity of meeting Lizzie and having a picture taken with her and uh, getting an autograph. And after that event, uh, I'm going to a birthday party for Buddy Boy, for Braden Miller, at, uh, I think it's, it's the VFW Lodge in New Lothrop. Um, I'll have to check my sources again, but... I'm, I think it's at the VFW Lodge is what they said, if memory serves. And I, my memory's been just all over the place lately. There's so much going on. But, yeah, so Saturday, April 14th will be a book-solid day for me. Uh, I've been looking into some airline tickets uh, because I plan on meeting some warrior families and more of my actor friends who live out of state. And doing a bit of research on Google, I have discovered that uh, Detroit Metro Airport has, like, the cheapest airline tickets um, 
round trip nonstop. Um, I've checked with Bishop International and Flint, and the tickets are just way too much. Uh, so, and of course, Bishop is a is a smaller airport than Detroit Metro. Detroit Metro is like a shopping mall if you've ever flown out of out of Metro. Um, and I was talking with Ava Coleman's mom today about that. Um, you know, like doing a round trip ticket if I can afford it. I would love to come down to Atlanta and and spend some time with the family. Um, I have to get over this fear of flying because I've never been on an airplane before, but I am just so looking forward to it. I am ecstatic about um, getting to meet people who want to meet me after all this time, and I, I'm just I'm so looking forward to it. So looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm um, I'm thinking that Detroit Metro Airport is uh, the cheapest way to go uh, because there's so many families I want to meet. They all live out of state, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I can't make any guarantees, but I'll have to save up some money. We'll we'll see how things go, and and you know, of course, go from there. Um, so tomorrow, the second, my buddy Jacob uh, turns thirty-two. Uh, he invited me to his house tomorrow I, um, for a birthday party. I don't know how long I'll stay, but uh, I figure I'll you know go there, wish him a happy birthday, and just kind of, you know, kick back with him, and, uh, I don't know, maybe have a beer, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, we'll see what happens, if I stay, depending on how long I stay, rather, um, but there's just so much going on, um, yeah, I found out my niece, Angel's gonna have a baby, she's due on November 14th, so I'm really excited for her, and I'm excited to be an uncle again, um, I got to get on the ball with having, I, I have no children. I'm the youngest of three boys and I'm the only guy in the family who's single and no kids. And, but you know, it, it's for me, it's working out not having kids or having a, a significant other because, um, it gives me opportunity to do the things I want to do. I couldn't travel here, travel there, do this, do that. If I had kids, if I had a woman and it, it's, not a sexist remark. It's not saying anything about women because if I'm sure if I were gay and if I had a, a, a boyfriend, it would probably be the same way. I can't do the things I want to do unless I'm by myself doing it. Uh, it's you know I, I don't want to I don't want to get into that too much, uh, but I, I'll say being single and childless is not so bad. Um, it just gives you more freedom to explore, to have stronger social connections and social ties with people. And it it just makes for an incredible time when you actually do get to meet your friends. Um, today, getting to meet Ava Coleman was just, it was the best. Um, I had given her some advice, and um, we had pictures taken, like I said, and I'll post those at the end of this video, or I'll share them rather post. <laughs> Listen to me. I'll share them at the end of this video. Um, and, you know, I, I, I mean, even before I left, because we were getting ready to say our goodbyes, Ava came right up to me and gave me a hug, and I, you know, leaned down and gave her a hug, and I gave her some advice about, you know, even when you don't succeed in life. And this, I, I think this pretty much works for all of my actor friends. Even when you don't succeed in life, you know, you go for your auditions, and you you don't ace the audition. Look at it as a stepping stone to bigger and better things awaiting for you. And that's the same exact advice I had given to Ava today. And her mom was just, you know, she, she says, oh, my God, my heart. You know, I mean, that's the most beautiful thing anybody's ever said to my daughter. And I, I was just really happy to meet her. And... Uh, meet the both of them uh they're just wonderful people but anyway yeah there's so much going on um yeah tomorrow i'm probably gonna go to jake so jake if you're watching i'll see you tomorrow buddy um my dad tried to get me with some april fool's jokes that didn't work um just excuse me just a little while ago i had someone tell me that um one of my 
friends who's only 16 years old, she's pregnant. It's like, yeah, yeah, I don't think so. I know what day, uh, what day it is. I'm not stupid. Uh, nice try. <laughs> um, but yeah, there, there's just so much going on, guys. I really need to write this stuff down. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure there's something else I'm missing. I do this every time. Um, but for the most part, I mean, I, I've been staying busy. I've been, you know, being as active as I can be. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be meeting. Oh, how could I have forgotten this? I'm going to be meeting another Wilms warrior. She lives here in Michigan. Her name is Lauren. Uh, her, I've been keeping in contact with uh, Lauren's mom. And we're going to arrange a special time for me to come down to where she lives at. And we're going to hang out, get to know each other. Um, a warrior brother and sister. That would be me and Lauren. We're brother and sister in this. And uh, anybody else who's watching this and if your kids, and it's not just limited to Wilms Tumor, but any, any of you watching this, if you're a parent of a cancer warrior, a, a child battling cancer, um, just know that I'm always on your side. Always. And your child is a brother or a sister to me. Um, and I, I love with everything I am. I love with all my heart. And I will support you. I'm not going to walk in front of or behind you. I'm going to walk with you. And please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can find my email address in the About tab section of my YouTube channel. Um, don't be shy. Send me an email. Let's get to know each other a little bit. And uh, we'll, we'll keep in touch. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what's been happening in my life lately. I've just been so busy with everything. Um, so I, I, I really don't know what else there is to talk about. Um, other than, yeah, my dog's probably going to go crazy here in a little while. He'll start whining and whimpering because every time my dad goes away, and comes back, my dad will be gone for so long, he'll come back, and my dog Barkley will be right there on the arm of the couch as you see him, uh, waiting for dad to come home, because when he hears car doors shutting, he'll start barking. Um, he's a good watchdog. I, I can't uh, shun him for uh, barking and scaring the living daylights out of me, because I don't expect a bark to happen, but, um, yeah, yeah. If he starts barking, we'll know why. It's probably because my dad's home. And you hear it. I don't think dad's home. You heard something, didn't you? I don't think it's daddy. I don't think it's daddy, buddy. Come on. He does this every time. And if it is, if it is, it's okay. They'll walk in on the Sunday video update. Um... Yeah, I, I am just so excited about uh, getting on an airplane and meeting my friends, people who live out of state. Some places that I've been to are within driving range. Uh, like I've driven to uh, Columbus, Ohio. I've driven to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Um, I, I've been to a lot of different places. Um, and that's the incentive of being young and single without a family, although I want that for myself. I would love to have... Uh, someone to love and to ha have a family of my own. Um, but if it doesn't work out, I mean, either way, it's a win-win for me. I can be comfortable having a family. I can be comfortable without having a family. Um, because either way, like I said, it, it's it's a win-win. It gives me an incentive. And I try not to beat myself up too much about being single and, and thinking to myself, well, I'm not good enough for anybody um, because I am. We all are. It's just, you know, people have standards, and if I don't meet up to those standards, then I'm not the one they're looking for. Oh, well. Um, maybe that's why you're single, because you can't get over your standards. And, and you have to give people a chance once in a while. Not everybody you meet in the world is going to have every little thing you want. But you know what? Uh, they're going to treat you good. They're going to treat you wholeheartedly and, and open-hearted. And if you can't 
accept that, then you can't accept anything. But then I got my dog. I got you, don't I, Barky? Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. And as a reminder, uh, don't forget to check out GuideStar.org. GuideStar.org is the one place where you can find out information about who's a legitimate 501c3 nonprofit or an LLC and who isn't. Um, GuideStar.org is the site to check out. But anyway, I, I'm guessing this is going to be like a very, very quick Sunday video update. And by the time I hit the stop recording button, I'm going to remember other things that I wanted to talk about. Um, I, I, it just doesn't come to mind. I really need to start writing these things down. Uh, Roseanne came back. I don't know if any of you had a chance to... Uh, see the new episode or the new series of, of Roseanne on ABC. Um, but it's all the original cast of, of characters from the original 80s, uh, 80s and 90s uh, series. But now Dan and Roseanne are grandparents. Um, and, uh, and it's weird, too, because her grandson is named Mark on the show, and the actor who originally played Mark, his name was Glenn Quinn, from the 80s and 90s version, he passed away. He had um, a drug problem. He died from, I think it was a heroin overdose back in 2002. Um, he played as Becky's husband, Mark. Um, and, and by what I understood, I think uh, Johnny Galecki, the, the guy that played David on Rose, I think he's supposed to make one appearance on the show. Um that's what I've heard. I, I don't know how true it is, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, because I've I've been a fan of Roseanne since I was a kid. Um, and, of course, potential autographs. You know, I, I plan on sending some request letters to uh, Roseanne and John Goodman and Lacey Gornson and uh, uh, Sarah Gilbert, Michael Fishman, Lori Metcalf, you know, the originals. So if any of you are watching my video, which I highly doubt you are, but I'll just put it out there, uh, I'm going to be sending you a fan mail letter, and I'd like to uh, build up my autograph collection. Um, I have been, like I said, a fan of, of Roseanne since I was a kid. I grew up watching the, watching the original series, and I'm actually just so happy that uh, Roseanne came back. And a lot of people ask me, well, they're, or, or they or they don't ask me; they just they tell me that, well, there's something different about the series. I can't put my finger on it. It's got to be the grandkids. It's not the grandkids. I mean, that is different from the original run. Um, when Harris was born, uh, Darlene's baby, they thought she was going to die. And now, with this new series, she's grown up. Um, but that's not the, the one thing that's different about the, the new series. It's the cameras. You may not think so, but it's the cameras. If you remember how crystal clear the image was from the 80s and 90s television run on ABC, it was sharp, crystal clear, like they were moving in real time. Watch the new episode or the new series of Roseanne, and they move slower than what they would actually move. Like, for example, like with my webcam. I'm not moving in real time because it's... it's a choppy image that you see on the webcam, but with the new Roseanne, it's they, it has like the grainy look. It kind of reminds me of the Mary Tyler Moore show with the grainy look. They don't move in real time. Like when they do move in real time in front of the camera, it shows that they're actually moving slower on screen. Um, I don't know what you would call that, um, but it's it's a different. We're looking at them through a different lens figuratively and, you know, literally, we're looking at them through a different lens. But that's what's different about the new Roseanne series. I know that's what it is. Um, my dad couldn't put his finger on it. There's just something different. It's the cameras. Because it's not, you know, like when they do the um, the late night talk shows, like uh, if you watch uh, Colbert or Jimmy Kimmel or even Bill Maher or, um, you know, like the, the, the late night talk show guys 
all of that is done in real time. That's a sharp, crystal clear image. When they are moving, they are moving. And it's like you're looking directly at them. It's like you're right there in the studio audience looking at, watching them as they move. Um, that's what's different. Yes, that is Dad and Amy. I just heard the car door shut. But that's the difference. The new Roseanne is like a Mary Tyler Moorish kind of a look. Um, I'm doing my Sunday video update, so that's why the video, uh, the TV's muted. And, uh, oh, you got some chips. And, oh, Dad got me some chili cheese Fritos. Oh, I love you, Daddy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's, uh, there's so much going on. I'm doing the Sunday video update. No, you're fine. Talk. Um, your step out here, the first one. I know what, I know what oh, yeah, you got to fix that, don't I you? Know, right? Yeah. I got a lot of beef. Yeah, so you, you guys want to say hello, happy Easter? Hello, happy Easter, everybody. That was Amy, Dad. Hello and happy Bunny Day. Happy Bunny Day. I'm different. Yeah, and, and it's weird because <laughs> Easter and April Fools falled on, or fell, falled. <laughs> wow, where did I learn to, <laughs> fell on the same day. So it was actually a pretty good joke, comedian born on Easter then, wasn't it? Well, <laughs> what, my dad my dad was born on Easter Sunday, 1958. April 6, 1958. Today is Easter Sunday plus April Fool's, but I don't think <laughs> April Fool's had fallen on the same day. No, it only comes, this is only going to come once every 50 years, or 60 years, April Fool's. Yeah, uh, you're not 50 anymore, Dad. <laughs> no, but that's, that's what they're, they're saying. Every 50 years, it'll come like this. Yeah, or Dad, Dad will be 60 on April 6th, yep. this week. Hey, Jerry. Um, and, and what else have we got? Ooh, delicious candies. Yeah, sure, I got. Um, oh, they're Tootsie Rolls. That's what I got. Or, orange slices? Them, guys. My eyes must and be getting better because... I got privilege because... Yeah. I got their Sour Jack's Watermelon. You know, I, I was I was talking to Dad and Amy today. And then I turned... Um, about a, a cruel joke that would have been perfect. It's disgusting. It's gross. But it would have been hilarious. Taking a plastic Easter egg putting dog droppings in it and saying, hey, that's a Tootsie Roll. <laughs> yeah, Tootsie Roll. It's oh, gross. Yeah. I know. It's disgusting. Hey, hey, it up but, a piece but, of paper. Yeah, it's, it's disgusting. Scratch that. Scratch that. Um, It'd be like walking through the woods and say smart pills. Yeah, it, it's, it, it's, it's gross. It's nasty. But it's just a thought that came to mind. How, how much of a – well, you wouldn't – bite into it because the smell would hit you before you even had a now chance to... wrapped up and you went, without even doing it. Well, if you had it wrapped in a Tootsie Roll wrap, I mean, you would, you would, that means you would have to get your fingers, you know, it's, it's, ill. Or like you smell. Or like or like Dad and the boys did to their sister, give them frickin' raisins. And oh, yeah, raisins, rabbit yeah. Poop. Told they were rabbit, or raisins. Yeah, told her they were raisins and it was rabbit poop. Oh, <laughs> You're we went, awful. We went like we were eating them. And, you you're know. awful. Mm -hmm. Just like, yeah. just like that one summer when Uncle Danny was here. Mm -hmm. I think it was last year or the year before. We we have problems here with um, June bugs in the summertime, like you wouldn't believe. And uh, no, it wasn't even here. It was at Grandpa Fuller's. He had he he grabbed up this June bug and act like he ate it. And it, he didn't eat it. He just had it in his hand. I don't know how it didn't well, I pinch have him. Ate him. I don't know how it didn't pinch him. I have ate him. Yeah, because because oh yeah, on the motorcycle, smack him in the face. But anyway. I don't know how it didn't pinch his hand, but he, he grabbed it real quick and acted like he ate it. I'm just looking at him like, you didn't just eat that bug. No, I'm just sitting here, Jared. That's, that's Uncle Danny for you. Um, My nephew's oldest brother. My oldest brother. That is your oldest brother. My oldest brother. The firstborn. Um, my brother Wayne, by the way, was in Nashville, Tennessee. 
and he said he, for three beers, it cost him like 25 bucks. So I'm guessing he may have been on Beale Street. Four. Huh? Cost him $24 for four beers. Okay, $24 beers. for that for four yeah. beers? Okay, Beale Street in, in Nashville. Uh, I, 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 I don't know a lot about Nashville, Tennessee. I've been invited to Memphis, um, but I don't know much about Nashville. So if you're watching from Nashville, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but anyway, guys, this is going to be a quick Sunday video update. Um, happy Easter, and I don't know, much love to you guys. Is there anything else you guys wanted to say before I wrap this up? Have a nice evening. Yeah, because it's, it's late, and I'm late getting to this, but I guess that's it. Much love. Peace, happy Easter, or should I say happy, uh, what is that, Easter Fool's Day. <laughs> Take care, guys.